Earth Day, Earth Day, Inchworm, Inchworm, Garden, woo. Okay. Oh, it is recording already. I know I was recording. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Joy and today we're going to be doing a, a cooking recipe for you. Or, or let's just say a, a cooking tarot read to see what types of energies and what you can make to help celebrate uh, Earth Day. You know, help celebrate and bring the energy into you for, for celebrating the growth and the beauty of the Earth that we live upon. All the plants and animals, oceans. So let's go ahead and pull one card and let's see what let's see what recipe uh, spirit wants to bring to us to help celebrate Earth Day and what you can make and what you can make that will um, you know, bring you energy for this beautiful Earth Day and the weekend. So that would be April 28, 29, and 30, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's go ahead and pull a card and see what that recipe is. See what the card is for our recipe for energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles coming in. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. I pre-shuffled these. These are the animal animal cards. Let's see what animal wants to also um, bring bring us all energy for for Earth Day. Wants to help us celebrate. What animal is going to help us celebrate with its energy? We have the pig spirit. <laughs> Beautiful little pig here. Beautiful little pig. It's telling us, telling us to use our mind wisely. Use our mind wisely. You know, since it's Earth Day, use our mind wisely. It may be saying, you know, take a little few extra steps to do some recycling. Uh, go plant some flowers. Plant a tree. Go take a walk in nature. Uh, you know, enjoy the birds. Um, you yeah, know, do something out in nature. Do something out in nature, um, and use your mind wisely in that in that sense. Um, if you see a beetle or an ant on the ground, don't squash it. You know, use your mind wisely. Let it go. But it has a family too, right? <laughs> go out there and hug a tree, even if you want. You know, do something. Do something for the earth. You know, don't don't go. You see beautiful flowers growing here on Earth Day. Don't go and pluck them. Let the let the animals and the bees and ev let everybody enjoy them. You know, just be mindful and on uh, on this Earth Day weekend here. Use your mind wisely on your choices about nature this weekend. All right, so let's get ahead. Go ahead here now. I received this book. On Christmas and uh, of this year and it's divine your dinner it's divine your dinner it's a cookbook um, that gives you uh, recipes for every for every tarot card there is and it brings in what energy and it brings you energies so let's see what it says about um, oh I'm sorry this is the seven the seven of Pentacles let's see if I can find it here I did do another video uh, on some recipes as well. Um, I'll put a link to it up here, up here somewhere. And, um, if you want to check that out, five, six, seven of Pentacles. Come on, where are you? Pentacles should be in the back, but I do not see. I do not see them. Oh, they call it coins. That's okay. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing because of what this card is representing. It's representing a big old cauldron of ranch-style beans. <laughs> no, I just keep... Um, it's not very funny, but... I just keep thinking of gas, you know? <laughs> Eat so many beans, it's on Earth Day. It's going to be a... <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, you you know what I 
laughing about, you know, to blow farts out in the air, right, <laughs> on Earth Day. So use your mind wisely, use your mind wisely, okay? If you're going out to enjoy Earth Day, don't, uh, don't eat this beans, don't eat this big old, this big old uh, cauldron of ranch style beans before you go on that nature walk for Earth Day. <laughs> And maybe that's what the little pig's trying to tell us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, all right. First, I'm going to read about what this, in this cookbook, the Seven of Pentacles, uh, represents. And then I'll go ahead and read the ingredients and how to prepare this, uh, this big pot of ranch-style beans. All right. So, so it says, so you have been passed over for a promotion again. Or your book hasn't gotten picked up, your tour got canceled, they skipped your song at karaoke, whatever is making you doubt yourself, uh, it's not really an indication of the quality of your work or how hard you've labored. So where does that leave you? What do you do? Trust the work? That's it. That's the magic. Give it the benefit of the doubt. It's working even if you can't see the results just yet. And if you still have doubts, we got a little more help for you starting with the oregano in these ranch style magic beans to pry open the defeated heart. Okay. So here we go. Let's read about it and um, get your ingredients going here. What makes these beans ranch style? Well, it's mostly the zesty spices, but also the hard-working attitude you have when you make them. Just like a rancher will tell you, it's not about the destination, it's about the long road to get there. And for this journey, that means you don't get to use canned beans. You have to start with dried. The good news is, not really that much extra work. You just need to know you are making them at least a day in advance so you can soak them overnight. Beef broth is used for the classic version of ranch style beans, but vegetable stock works just as great if you prefer to keep it more vegetarian. Alternatively, if you want it to be extra meaty, go ahead and throw some bacon in, in the pot while the beans are boiling. For a full meal, serve the beans over some rice with a little scoop of sour cream. So here we go. These are the ingredients that you need. You're going to need three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one large white or yellow onion diced, three tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of canine pepper, it says optional here, uh, seven garlic cloves, uh, roughly chopped, six cups of uh, broth, of that beef broth, okay, one pound of dried pinto beans soaked overnight and drained, one cup of canned tomato puree, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half teaspoon of seasoned salts, such as, you know, that seasoning salt, that Laurie's seasoning salt, or whatever you, even maybe, uh, what's that other one called, that dash, it's in there, dash as well. Okay, so <laughs> one tablespoon of light brown sugar you'll need, one lime cut in half, and some uh, salt and pepper. Doesn't say how much, it just says salt and pepper. So that's probably going to go in as to taste. So let's go ahead. Now, those were your ingredients, so let's read the directions on how to make this big old cauldron of ranch-style ranch beans. You know, I, you know, maybe, I don't know. You know, that might be good. This might be good with make, using green beans instead. Ranch, bacon, green beans. I don't know. That's just my thought. It doesn't say that in here. But anyhow, so let's go ahead and read here. 
In a large pot, heat the olive oil over medium heat. And when the oil starts to simmer, you add onions, chili powder, the cumin, and the canine, uh, if you're using that, the canine pepper. And uh, you saute it until the onion is soft, about five minutes. Then you add the garlic and you saute it again for two more minutes. Step number two, add the broth and scrape any browned bits off the bottom of the pot. Add the beans and bring to a boil over high heat. Once boiling, reduce the heat to low and cover and simmer for about an hour, stirring occasionally to give the beans a head start on cooking. Number three then, you add the tomato puree, the oregano, the seasoned salt, your brown sugar, and the, half, the two halves of lime to the pot and you simmer again uncovered until the beans are soft and the sauce has thickened about an hour longer. You remove the pot from the heat, you pull out the lime halves and you squeeze the juice into the pot. You season with salt and pepper to taste, and you cool to and cool for ten minutes before serving. Okay, so that is the seven of coins, the big the big cauldron of ranch style beans. There's your recipe for Earth Day. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> give a little bit. Give some little methane out to poor Mother Earth here. I'm sorry, but this is just making me laugh. <laughs> oh, so again, you know, trust the little pig here. Take his energy as well, you know, to, to use your mind wisely uh, this weekend and help rejuvenate and help, Ma, help Mother Earth here with re remembering to recycle. All right. And there's your recipe for Earth Day, and <laughs> have a great one. Bye. Oh, Lordy.